Welcome back to Houston Life. Okay, guys, 29 years later, after it was originally released and just in time for Halloween, the beloved cult classic, my favorite, Hocus Pocus, is back for a bewitching fun sequel. It is so much fun, and a rising Texas actress is part of the new film, playing a younger version of one of the Sanderson sisters, Winifred, played by Bette Midler. Her name is Taylor Page Henderson, and guess what? She is right here on our sofa. My my Welcome. goodness, Taylor, listen, yes. we don't even know you and we're so proud of you. Thanks. This film is so iconic. You're one of the first characters we see on screen. But to play a character like Bette Midler's character, Winifred, these are huge shoes to fill. And I understand you actually studied Bette for a while. Her mannerisms, how did all that go? Well, when I first got the audition, I had watched the movie a ton of times growing up. Um, but I had never really watched it to like not for fun to like more of a study and so when I started doing that I discovered so much more than just like how you know feisty she is I started discovering like where all of her mannerisms come from and like why she does them and so it was a really cool experience and I watched it every day before I went on set and so I've seen the movie probably like 40 to 45 times now. I mean it was wow. part of your process like your yeah. schooling almost yeah. right um, what was it like when she walked in the room the very first time? Did you, I mean, you, I was like, that happened. Yes, it did. <laughs> I freaked out because <laughs> she is so iconic and she's so amazing and, and she's, she is so kind and she has great advice and she's an industry veteran and so it was really cool to get to talk to her just to like, about the character and about her experiences too. It was it was so awesome. We can only imagine, and we're seeing some images from last week's big time premiere in New York City. What was that like for you to be on the carpet? Because Disney doesn't do anything small scale, right? <laughs> right it must have been a huge evening for you. Yeah, it was awesome. I got to meet some really cool people, and I we got to reunite with the cast, which I haven't seen any of them in a year, and so it was really cool to get to see them again, and catch up, and. It was awesome, and I got some really cool pictures. <laughs> um, it was great, and I could do it again every day. <laughs> right? I mean, it's kind of the moment you've been waiting for. Let's rewind yeah. a little bit and let everybody know how you how you kind of broke into the industry, um, because you started mostly as a dancer. I mean, yeah. ba ballet, right? Yes, yes. And when did the acting bug happen for you? Well, when I was five, I started um, doing community theater in my hometown, and I was like, oh my gosh, like. Well, this is like, this is really fun. I was literally, my first show, I was on stage for 45 seconds, and I was like, no, like, 45 seconds or nothing. Like, 45 seconds is so good. And I was like, this is so much fun, so I started doing more. Um, I did professional theater when, um, starting when I was 11, and so that was like kind of when I started professionally acting. Um, yeah, and then that's when I met my agent and my manager, and they're lovely, and then, here this we happened. Here we are. Yeah. And you live in Amarillo, is that right? Yes, Amarillo, Texas. Okay, so a lot of people might be wondering, how do you get from Amarillo, Texas to starring in a huge Disney film? How did that audition happen? Did you have to fly into L.A. or did you submit a tape? Well, I, I submitted a tape because at the time it was only July 2021, so COVID was like COVID. still kind of a thing. Um, and so everything was by tape and it kind of still is. So I submitted the tape and I was like, who knows what's gonna happen. And then I heard back and they were like, oh, I mean, we really like her and we would love to see her again. And so I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cool. Um, and so I did two callbacks and then I booked it. Oh my gosh, Incredible. what a great story. Okay, <laughs> when you're not acting or, you know, rubbing elbows with that SJP, <laughs> all the people, yeah. what else do you like to do? Um, I do a lot of volunteer work in my town. Um, at, local, at a local animal shelter, I feed cats, I, play with them a lot and I um, I help with like adoption events on Saturdays and it's really fun and I love to do it because I love animals. Um, yeah. So, so sweet. That is really, really yes. cool. And we're out of time, but can you tell us what you're working on now? Well, no, I can't say can. anything yet, but um, I mean, I'm always auditioning and that's the biggest part of the actor's job is the work before the work, I guess. And so. But we will be seeing you on the big screen again very soon. I hope so. Okay. That would be awesome. No, We're Taylor, it's great to meet you. Congratulations <laughs> yes. for Thank all your you. success. We Thank love it you. in Hocus Pocus 2. By the way, we do want to remind everybody that Hocus Pocus 2 is exclusively streaming on Disney+. Plus. It's a whole lot of fun. Check it out. Yeah. Well, coming up.